Hi everyone, welcome to Ask an Armor. My name is Kia and today I'm doing a video that I never really anticipated doing on an Armory channel, but here we are. I have had so many comments and compliments over the years, which thank you by the way, it was very sweet, um, about my crown braids, um, about how I do them, that they look really nice, why I do them, etc. So I figured I would just record a quick video both explaining why I put my hair in this um, style for tournaments, uh, as well as how you can do it as well if you also have long hair like I do. So that is the first reason why I do these crown braids, is because I do have fairly long hair when it is down and unstyled. It goes down to about the middle of my back at this point, so there is just a lot of it to deal with. Um, and when I'm working with tools, when I'm doing setup, when I am just moving around a lot, um, I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to worry about my hair getting caught in anything or getting in my face so I can't see properly. So these contain all of my hair. Uh, so that it's safe, frankly. Um, and for those of you wondering why I don't just do a ponytail, one, a low ponytail will still leave me the problem that my hair can kind of fall in front of me and potentially get caught in something, which I don't want. And a high ponytail, frankly, gives me a headache by the end of the day uh, because of the weight piled up at the top of my head. Um, and then also, one, I quite like this hairstyle, I think it looks quite nice, um, and if I'm going to be spending all day in a hairstyle, I like feeling like I look pretty in it. Uh, two, it matches my pink boots. And three, it makes me really obvious. Part of why I started wearing the pink boots, on top of the fact that I like them, was to distinguish myself as the armorer, given what we wear, unlike the referees who are very clearly denoted by their lovely suits, um, and other professional style attire, armorers, just by the nature of what we do, look more like the fencers or a coach or just a general parent or spectator because we have to be in things that we can work in, get potentially quite dirty as we're messing around on the floor with things. Um, so we, we, it's hard to tell us apart sometimes. So I started wearing the pink boots to help denote me like that, uh, makes me very obvious, and the pink hair is an extension of that. Uh, the pink is quite obvious where I am, and again, the crown braids is a fairly different hairstyle, like this isn't something I would wear underneath a fencing mask, because this would just be really uncomfortable with the weight sitting right on top of it there, and I don't think would fit very well in any ways. Um, so yeah, so between safety and making me really obvious so that I can do my job better. Uh, that's why I wear my hair this way. So for all of you who have been curious about how and why I do my hair like this, stay tuned. I will show you that right now. So in order to do this, all you're going to need is a comb. Um, you will need four little hair ties. Doesn't really matter what size they are, but I do find these uh, smaller ones are easier to work with just because there's fewer times I need to wrap them around and a scarf that can wrap around your head a little bit more than two times. If you need to, like I have done with this one, you will see later, um, it's not quite long enough, so I just tied some additional ribbon onto the ends of it in order to extend its length a little bit. But if you have one that's long enough in the first place, that makes your life a little bit easier. So the first thing you're going to do is take your scarf and just place it around the back of your neck such that the ends are even. Then take your hair, make sure that it is all nice and detangled so that it's easier to work with, and just go right down the middle of the back of your head and part your hair into two even bundles. I like tucking it behind my ears nicely so it's nice and smooth, but that is up to you if you want to do it that way or not. So now I've got my scarf even and my hair even, so it's time to put on the first two elastics. So it doesn't really matter which side you start with, but I will just grab one bundle of hair. If you want, you can take your comb just to smooth this down even more 
and I'm going to take the scarf on this side and just include it in this bundle here so you can see it's all being held in my one hand and then I'm going to use that and just put one of the hair ties on that and <laughs> fight with my cat who has decided this is the best toy ever. Just can you get off please, thank you. Alright, and then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side, grab the remaining bundle of hair. I'm just going to do a quick comb to make sure I've got everything nice and smooth and detangled. Put the scarf in this hand as well. So now at this point, I'm just, just going to double check that my scarf ends are still even. I find sometimes when I twist my head back and forth to put the hair ties in, the scarf can get a little bit uneven, which makes it a, it's not impossible to deal with, but it does just make it that little bit harder to tie it up nicely in the back at the end of this. So this actually looks pretty good despite Duchess's help here. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these down so that the ponytails are nice and at the base of my skull. Mine are sitting kind of right behind my the bottoms of my ears. So now that you have your two ponytails with the scarf on either side, all you're gonna have to do is split your ponytail into two halves and just braid it as normal with the scarf in it. It doesn't matter if you do French or Dutch braid style, but uh, so long as they just get all nicely braid it up. Excuse you, you're not helping. Excuse you. And then when I get to the end and I just have this last couple of inches of hair left, I like to take the scarf and just wrap it around those both to protect the ends a little bit and prevent any little flyaways uh, you know make sure that it's not kind of sticking off up at an awkward angle anywhere and then you take the third of your hair ties and just tie that up I like sort of working it down the length of the scarf so rather than being all bundled up in one spot it kind of extends down which again helps contain that last little bit of hair as well as give you a nice kind of flatter surface that we will use to tie the knot later. And then just go ahead and repeat this on the other side. All right, so once you're done with that and you now have both of your braids fully contained and everything, all you're gonna do is take the hair up across the top of the head. And I like to just kind of Put it in a knot up there just to kind of hold it and snug that down you don't want to really really pull on it because that's not good for your hair as well as isn't that comfortable and we're going to want a little bit of movement up here later for this next step so now that i have this up here i'm just going to take this extra and kind of pull up gently on the braid so that there's a bit of space underneath it and just wrap this excess underneath and I'm going to do that on both sides just following the twist around that was started by the knot. So just kind of tug on it a little bit to make sure it's all in place and as you can see this keeps it all very nicely contained. So the final step is to just take the ends of your scarf and tie them together in a nice little bow tie and there you're done at this point you can be done if you want but I like to take this bottom section of scarf and just kind of tuck all of those ends into it 
so they're nicely contained and aren't going to get caught on anything. And there you go, you now have a nice crown braid. So if you want a little bit more security, you can take some of your bobby pins or hair clips and just kind of slide them into this at various intervals in order to just really, really secure it onto your head. Um, I will do that sometimes if I know, especially on like tear down or uh, set up days where I know there's going to just be a lot of up and down and movement and I just really want to make sure my hair stays in place. Otherwise, this works really well for me to just kind of let it sit in place. So that is entirely up to you. You can also go through and just clean it up. If you have any little flyaways or anything that have popped up, you can take a bobby pin or something and just kind of tuck those away. But in any case, that is how I do my crown braids for tournaments. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything else you'd like me to cover, let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.